Hi everyone, my name is Jason. Welcome back to the shop. Welding for me is just not making pretty beads. It's all about the outcome of the weldment I'm trying to make. If it doesn't come out exactly as I intended it or according to a print or plans, I'm not gonna be able to charge money for the part or my customer isn't gonna be happy. As a welder, we are always in combat with the welds themselves. Welds like the pull, twist, move, and when we add it to our weldment frame, it can really cause havoc. I don't want you guys to make the same mistakes I made as a beginning welder and just go and just start welding all the joints. I guarantee that's going to end up in a potato chip. There's a lot of things to consider when welding. Not only just making the best weld, but how long a weld, how thick a weld, where do we place it in orientation to other welds, which order do we weld the joints in. And all these things combined will affect the outcome of our weldment. So the goal of this weldment right here is we need to maintain its level of flatness, twist, and squareness. So there's all sorts of things we can do. We could add bracing to this frame to help eliminate some of the twist and pull. But for the sake of this video, we're just gonna be talking about weld sequencing in general. So the weld sequence goes like this. Outside corner, jump to the opposite corner, just like you're tightening lug nuts on a car. Go from opposite corners. And then we'll work on this surface here, where we place a weld going from inside out. And if you can, flip it over and do the opposite side of the weld you just welded while this one is still hot. The more it cools, the more it pulls. And you want those two welds to be working against each other. Save this inside weld fillet for last. It has the most leverage, so we wanna make sure everything's welded out first before we weld this one. If you're doing a 45 miter joints, Weld sequencing is the same. You wanna do your outside corner first, flip it over, do your face butt welds next, and then save the inside fillet weld for last. Now that we're all done welding, Let's hit the tops of these welds that are a little bit above the surface of these tubes and let's bring it over to the Build Pro table and see how close we came. Oh. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Total success. I wish somebody would have taught me early on in my welding career some of these weld sequencing techniques. I think they really would have helped me minimize my twisted metal problems I had when I first started. Be sure to check out Fireball Tool for more products and information. I'll catch you on the next one.